All right, so apparently what's going on is um, there's a drug lord named Black Diamond, which lives three houses down from me, and he uh, he just stabbed somebody in the head, and the cops are outside of my house right now searching for him, so got to keep the family safe tonight. I got my guns all loaded. He could easily jump the fence, so... I have to stay alert and uh, protect my own. For sale. Shit, this about to be a Booster Boys channel part two. Yo, what up guys? So, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are starting off in the junkyard. So, since I posted up the last video about me in the junkyard, looking for parts for people, I don't do it. I just I just don't look for parts for people, but I am back here looking for a fender off that white Civic with the Domani front end for AD. Now the reason why I'm doing this for AD is because AD donated the alternated relocating bracket for my H22 build. So I'm returning the favor, coming out here looking for that driver's side fender to see the condition that it is in and if it's good I'm picking it up for him oh and we are here oh and it's not looking good like somebody dinked it right there dang it so I'm gonna text him the hood is clean passenger side is pretty clean oh, no it's not clean at all somebody dented that up as well that's a bummer. And then somebody else also asked me about the brake lines. It's not that great. You're better off building it yourself. I'd rock these wheels, but they have this wheel lock key on it. And uh, definitely a key I do not have to remove these wheels. Uncommon wheel lock. That's a lot of rice in the car. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this car looks like it's been. Well, I think it's heavy. Look at this Ellis motor. I'm at the very end of the row here, and uh, it's time for me to get on out of here. So unfortunately, the uh, driver's side Domani fender is damaged, as well as the passenger side. Now when the car came in, it was clean, but you know the junkyard, uh, hundreds of people come through it every day, and there are just some of those people that goes around and damage things, and I wasn't able to grab that for um, AD, so. <laughs> We're gonna talk about that when we get home. So right now I'm gonna head to the other junkyard to uh, see if there are any goodies there. I checked row 52 and um, there ain't shit, but I'm gonna go anyways because not everything that's listed in the yard are listed on row 52. So uh, let's get going. So I came into this yard looking for the RSX and this is it. But um, I believe this is automatic. And the one that's in here is a Type X. So hopefully the Type S is still in here. And again, on row 52 said there was a Type S and not the automatic. Apparently the automatic is here and uh, crossing fingers, the Type S is still here. They, they got three new rows right here. So I'm gonna check that out in a second. Already walked half and there ain't nothing here. Dude, I just think I hit the mother load. So over there, there's a B20 swap hatch right here. There's a B20 swap EJ6. There's a H22 right there. And most importantly, there's an EM1 right here with the GSR swap. And I'm pulling it. So I got to the junkyard at 410. I got to the car around 420 ish, 425. And I pulled the motor out in about 30 minutes axles motor mounts everything without breaking anything other than um the harness 
which was already hacked up and a bunch of vacuum lines it is 550 and given that I waited about 40 minutes before I got to pay and fully load in the van super success today for sure tired super dirty got a GSR swap and you guys won't believe how much I got it for with the help of uh, the Asian cat I got hooked the fuck up for real So, guys, we have the engine offloaded, and damn, I still cannot believe I scored this in a junkyard. Um, I haven't scored anything like this in a long time, and uh, a lot of goodies has been coming in lately, but uh, not early in the year. And uh, I was never there to, uh, you know, score some, because they were always gone by the time I get there. But today, today, there was three new rows and um, surprisingly there was a few swapped Civics like some B20 uh, Civic there was like two of them and then a Ella swapped Civic which was unusual to see but there was a blue EM1 I saw that color from a mile away even though the junkyard is not a mile away I saw the blue um, and I immediately knew it was an SI and I was like crap this is a new row nobody's here nobody's touching it and uh, when I got there I saw the red valve cover I saw the the intake manifold and I was like that's a GSR motor. When I was looking at it, I thought it was a GSR transmission two until I got it in a van and kind of wiped it off. This is actually an EM1 and it is a B16. Now I haven't really looked through the, the hole just yet. Nope, it's not LSD because the axle was stuck in there. But dude, the guy that was working there, the Asian cat, if you guys follow my channel a long time ago, the Asian cat was the one who kind of helped me with pricing um, several different times because he too believed that they overcharged in a junk car. So homeboy hooked me up fat and he learned that I had a K20 wagon and he was like, yo, that shit's, that shit's bad. So he was like, I got you, employee discount. I'm not telling you where it's at because I don't want to get homeboy to get fired, you know, in case I need to go back for some other good goods. But he gave me his employee discount and uh, he didn't charge me for a lot of things. But... He also didn't charge me for this radiator. Now it's a little dinked up from moving around because I had that sitting on top of the engine, but that's not penetrated. So you know what? Since I have not ordered a radiator yet, it looks like I'm gonna be making another half, half radiator. I'm excited. So what am I gonna do with this GSR? I know a lot of people have been hitting me up on Instagram because I posted on there about, um, me trying to contact a few friends and nobody was picking up to give me a hand but nonetheless I was able to get it out in 30 minutes or 40 minutes or so now in regards to that as well I wasn't trying to put nobody on blast I was trying to contact the people that were in the area given that I was at the very end of closing time for the pick and pull and nobody picked up everybody else if I was to call them and they picked up it'll be too late by the time they get into the yard and try to give me a hand with pulling it out so there were people that were hitting me up and asked me what I was gonna do with this motor. Um, I bought it just because you don't often come across this in the yard with a short gear tranny. Thank God it's not an LS. <laughs> and it has some goodies on it, you know, but I bought this because it doesn't often come around. So I got two choices. I'm gonna clean it up really nice, compression test it, all of that. I'll put it in one video later. Clean it up, compression test it, see if it's good, change out the rear main seals, everything. Um, before closing it back together or if I am going to close it back together at least have a new one on there change whatever I can to get this engine Legitimately cleaned and ready to swap if anything 
Now, I kind of said earlier when I was leaving the junkyard, who knows, I might have a GSR swap red CRX. I'm actually contemplating, guys, contemplating. I've I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, watching a lot of friends out at the track, uh, people who daily drive their cars um, every day. I've been meaning to build another sleeper streetcar turbo. Now, mind you, I got everything for the CRX from my last engine, all the B-series mounts and all that good jazz. I can technically put this GSR in the CRX, throw a baby turbo kit on it, and uh, make some usable street power and keep it stock looking just like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if I should do that or not because I really am leaning towards it. But obviously, I got to finish this car first. I got to square this car up for August track and then... You know, I said I was going to bring the truck back, but, you know, I can always do one day swap with the uh, CRX and get that out of the way. And then we'll build a turbo kit for it later. Might even not sell it anymore either if that's the case, because technically I don't have to. But we'll see where that goes. So before I close out this video, guys, I know um, uh, this video has been all over the place. This week was being kind of rough for me. It only took one day of not doing anything related to cars to lose motivation, which is crazy to say given that I've always worked on cars every other day, finding something to do. But it was just that one day I didn't work on cars that I just didn't feel like working on cars anymore. I had to sit in my room and rethink my life and talk about with myself about getting another job and, you know, uh, picking up on YouTube somewhere else. It was a lot of things when you have too much time to think about stuff Those were just a few of the topics that were uh, kind of floating around so This totally made my week for sure and I'm excited as part of not having anything to do and not Having done anything the last couple of days. We do have a package in the mail Right here. I'm gonna open with you guys in a second and then we have some other content like we can finally figure out a radiator situation um but let's open that together and see what we got. So this item was shipped to me from Nicholas. And Nicholas has commented a few different times on uh, some of my videos. And I, sh I just, you know, haven't got to it until like last night. Um, but I finally got the package. It wasn't in my P.O. box because uh, it was held um, in the back room for 10 days because... It says it right here. Sorry, addressee is not listed on a P.O. box. I know I mentioned uh, the name on the P.O. box as Mail Mail, but um, apparently I can't do that because Mail Mail is not on the uh, uh, the file for my P.O. box. So I'm going to change in the description below for the P.O. box and just have my name as Dana Proom um, as the person you are sending it to. So that way it doesn't get held in contempt for like 10, uh, 10 days before it gets returned back to the, uh, the sender if I don't claim it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, how did I miss this? Two live crew? Live crew? The, the two live crew? As nasty as they want to be. Explicit language. Yo, I'll definitely slap this in the wagon when I get the car up and going again. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate the cassette um, care package along with... Uh, what is this? Oh, shit. B-O-V-R-S. Now, at first, I didn't know what this was because... All of that noise that was inside, but uh, oh shit, guys, we have a blow valve. We indeed have a blow valve, and the awesome part about it, it is blue, guys. It is blue. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at that. That is a RS, so I believe it's like a Gretty rep. But um, definitely will do the job. I uh, truly appreciate that, Nicholas. We also have a letter right here. Boom. It goes, Dana, hope you can use this, man. Um, I salvaged it two screws off of it, which no big deal. We'll figure that out. Salvaged two screws off of it for my Grady RSBOV, which I replaced for you. Oh, so he actually replaced two screws that... Uh, are missing awesome uh, thinking about it you could uh, color match the BOV and your waist get to the valve cover I love uh, the war rally blue PS fist bump for Mel Mel he's like Ch 
chilling like a villain. Meow meow. Pump pump. Fist pump. The camera. Up here? No? Hey, you sleep too long, bro. I know I've been gone to the junkyard all day, but I'm here now. Can I see your hand? Come on, you're sitting there like a bird. Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. All right, look at that. Fist it up. Oh, he's like, oh, there it is. Fist bump. Awesome, man. Thank you. <laughs> That's for you, Nicholas. So I truly appreciate the blow valve, Nicholas. Definitely going to make a video on it next week and uh, do the, the flange modification like I did Zosh. Build the flange, build the neck, weld it on, plumb it, and then this should be crossed off the list. So as far as the rest of my day goes, guys, we are going to end the video here. Um, this was just a random, nothing related to the CRX today, but that is my junkyard score. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, and I know you guys did, please smack that like button if you guys want to see more updates on the CRX and future content of that possibly in there. Please hit the subscribe button. Stick around. I got to put this engine away now. Thank you for watching. Mel Mel says bye. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Got this fucker too.